the River Dordogne at Santa Foy La Grande. Beautiful little market town and this bridge going over the River Dordogne, the Dordogne River. Not sure uh, the correct way of saying that, but thinking about that scene there, or of course <laughs> under the bridge there'll be another there'll be another opportunity as well. Let's have a quick look at this side. Past this car. That scene there, that's a possibility. Just imagining the, the left hand frame of those, the bridge arches, and fairly simple buildings in the distance. Let's just go back to option number one. Excuse the wind. Well, there's the church. Quite a nice reflection of the church as well. Decisions, decisions. I'll make my mind up in a minute. Well, I went for this side. The right side is the best, I think. I quite like those buildings, the light hitting those buildings, the strong left-hand side. Of the, of the bridge here, which I think is a good good frame on the left hand side, some reflections, the fast moving river, a bit of shadow in the foreground, so we've got those 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 bands of light and dark and light and dark horizontal bands going down which which I find attractive. So let's get to it. I think the first decision is the skyline and the, water, the, um, the water's edge, where that's going to be. And then also how much of that bridge on the left hand side do I include? Well, let's just go for it, get an angle of, in of that bridge and then the houses in the background. That one of the middle sort of dips down. Then it goes up again and up again and then Slopes away. Now, coming lower down. Let's get in the that, that ledge above the above the water. It's like a sort of walkway, several meters above the the water level. That's around about there. That's catching the light. Maybe it needs to be just a little bit lower. And there's some blinds catching the light over there. Extension to a, a roof. 
few little chimney tops. It's getting some diagonals where the shadows go. Back to the bridge. Bit of perspective. Couple of pillars in there. Let's get in the actual water's edge before we do the bottom of the bridge supports. So a little bit of light there, light there, light there, light on the little rooftops. edge of the reflections something like that maybe I'll have a bit of the nearby bank here perhaps a person shall I have a person a figure on the bank here on this nearby bank Maybe a dark figure against a lighter background. Now, just double check my drawing. There's a few lines. That shadow, that shadow few horizontal lines for the bridge, light coming from the left, a few little shadows coming out from the support. This is light down here as well. Try and keep it simple with the background, not too fussy. Just get in the, the main buildings over there. Okay, painting. So, first application over the top half of the scene, quite a simple sky, there's not much sky area, so I've just pre-wet it, use a bit, bit, little, bit of, little bit of cerulean blue. Tiny bit. And then down to the, just a base colour for some of these buildings. That's quite light on that left hand side. A little bit of blue for that one. is just to cover up
a little bit of greenery. Down to the water's edge. Right, wait till that's dry. It's a warm day, it's about thirty degrees. Quite dry. No rooftops. Little bit of red, little bit of that's a cadmium red, burnt sienna. that dry? One way to find out. Don't want to go too dark on those rooftops. Quite attractive the different levels of the rooftops over there. Just behind that house there. There's a few little rooftops. Okay, back to the mop brush now for shadows underneath the rooftops and the shadows coming down the down the walls. It's quite an attractive diagonal. diagonal patterns going on with those shadows.
a little bit darker in there. yellow ochre colour to that shadow and another diagonal Right, keep going over to the right. Let's have this one in the shade as well. Sienna for the next one. on that rooftop. Right, let's go lower down now, almost to the, the pathway. Gets a little bit more challenging. Actually, let's start off with a bit of bit of greenery. down to the river bank gets a bit darker Bushes coming up on that side. Now, water's edge. And 
then just complete just complete that bit in the middle so cobalt blue burnt sienna little bit of yellow okay down to that light on the pathway. Next, let's do this bridge. Quite dark at the top. And then lighter, line it up with a bit of yellow ochre. get a little bit darker towards the base. Right. Now four the water. So, a little bit of little bit of blue give the appearance of moving water. Want soft, want some soft um, reflections in there. drying quite quickly.
Now, underneath the bridges, the, the uh, reflections are a sort of golden brown. So mixing that yellow, cadmium yellow, bit of burnt sienna, gets a little bit darker. A little bit darker up there next to that post. Come to the foreground in a minute. Back to my my number twelve. Synthetic. Don't want to muck about with these reflections too much. Actually, I'll go with a smaller brush. We need to do a few little bits of details now. So, a number. A number eight. Let's have a few windows. I've got some lavender down here, just ideal for shutters. A bit of lavender. And fairly thick as well. So I'm actually going quite thick with the, the shadows here, and the details of these shadows. It's too dark.
try and soften up some of these shadows here. A bit too, a bit too many hard, hard edges. And then definition to the water's edge. Now what a flat flat edge. So I'm using my mop brush to see if I can try to get a flat edge. That's oh, coming. And Bit of a dark green. Okay, a bit more detail on the bridge now. Back to the bridge. bit of dark shadow underneath there basically a triangle another triangle here and There's all sorts going on over there. Now, some horizontals. And then some more over here, but they're going to be closer together. Thinner. and a little bit of shadow coming out from there and from here it's really dark in there
and then there's oh, I'll do the I'll do the the lamp post with a smaller brush thinner brush in a minute okay grasses on the foreground blue yellow <laughs> bit of yellow maybe a little bit more yellow here because the sun is on that side but it's darker here and then I'll figure Trying to follow my drawing. little bit of highlights on that figure in a minute. Right, get a smaller brush and there's a bit more detail to the buildings at the back. grey up the walls and got some vertical vertical things going on there's an archway here streaks on this bridge it's a bit wetter Oh, just vacating the parking slot next to me. I think it was a camper van or something. The guy just got out and 
started washing himself if he heard some water, watery sounds. Okay, let's just try and get in. And it's very windy. A few little little marks hit us to help with the impression of the water. few darker shadows on the bushes. Right, rigger brush. Rigger brush. First of all, first of all, rigger brush, bit of white paint, bit of white gouache, and let's get a bit of highlights on this figure here. stand out a bit more and then up the river there's a few little streaks Too dry. Not too many. That'll do. Right, I've got some posts on the top of the bridge, some lamp posts or something, and a little, few little thin aerials. There's loads of them. side. A reflection of that and then maybe a few 
few more little softer reflections, just a little bit more interest into the water reflections. Does it need anything else? Uh, maybe a few lines on the tiles, which I don't want to overdo. I don't want to make them too, too fussy, too detailed, but just a few. Um, like this one here is catching the... It's too dark. Rigger brush. Like that. And then this one as well. Just a few. Okay, I think I'm done. There's not a lot more I can do to this. The impression of that sunlight coming across the scene, framing of the of the um, these strong pillars on the left-hand side. Do I need? needs a little bit of a vertical there a bit of a help to that reflection Good. Well, the wind's getting, is picking right up now, and my <laughs> my board's about to take off. I'll give a little critique when I get back inside. I'm back indoors now, out of that nasty wind. It did, did really get uh, quite windy towards the end. Started off half decent, but then the the wind crept up and my easel is quite lightweight so it was it was really rocking about towards the end anyway so the bridge at over the river Dordogne at Santa Foy and we're looking ahead to the port de, de Santa Foy something like that um, a little tiny port on the river and the beautiful buildings catching the light in the distance, which I think I achieved, all right. I think I got, got the value of. Well, let's let's talk about the composition first of all. The frame. I mentioned the framing of the left-hand side with those sturdy supports to the bridge. A couple of those in there. So kind of a darker value on that left-hand side with the reflections, the 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 bed of the river. It sort of gets a little bit more shallow here, and you can see the the bed of the river. That on the left-hand side, right across the top, the horizon just above the middle center line. So I've got more space to play with those reflections in the river. Simple buildings in the distance. I think the middle one might be a restaurant or something like that. So a very pleasant place to have a meal and a nice view. But these lovely... Um, sort of shabby chic buildings uh, with the, the lovely tiled rooftops going away way to the right. And then there's a sort of pathway running um, just just above the water's edge, 
just where my cursor is. Then we've got the water's edge. And the foreground, again the foreground, with a lonely figure there contemplating um, the movement of time and <laughs> the water down the river uh, away, into, away into the Atlantic. So, yeah, composition I think is okay. It needed that figure down there in the bottom right. Not so sure about my dark line there following the line of the figure. That either the figure, well, they shouldn't be in a line, so I should have had that darker shape maybe a little bit more to the right or move that figure, maybe move that figure, maybe in there. If that figure was there and then I could still have that dark vertical reflection, that would look better. So I just think it looks a little bit odd, the dark vertical shape, and then we were sort of in, in alignment with that figure, doesn't look quite right. Um, the other area I'm not too happy about, well, there could have been some softer edges in there, too many hard edges, it all looks sort of a bit uh, too, too hard. So I, if I was doing it again, try and get in some soft edges. It was diff that the conditions were very difficult. It was a warm day and it was windy. So I had to work really fast, particularly with the wet and wet of the river that was drying up so quickly over the right where you can see some of the, the harder edges. So I sort of started over there, worked my way over the right. By the time I got over the right, it was all drying uh, far too quickly to do anything um, proper with it. Uh, this area here, not so sure about that. The right-hand edge of this support should come down. It's just a minor point, but maybe it could have been a little bit wider at the base. But it looks like it's been cut off in its prime and missing a little chunk there. The bridge would probably fall down. It would fall into the River Dordogne. Anyway, it's art at the end of the day. I had a great time there on the banks of the River Dordogne. Um, a sunny, fairly sunny day. And yeah, apart from the wind, it was a good experience. So thanks for watching and I'll catch up with you on the next video.